<sighs> yes. I shall continue on to Bergenworth in search of answers. And nothing shall stand in my way any longer. Even strange alien bug creatures. Such a foul place. What has become of these pitiful whelps? Bergenworth at last. Perfect. And now that we're here, it's time to call this place of all the manner of beasts. Get off of me. Foul thing. Try to drive me to madness. Shall not work, I tell you. It shall not work. Blade is needed against these. Perhaps a blade tipped with fire will do me nicely. Hmm. It is as if they move a little too quick for me. Not quick enough, unfortunately. For I'm still alive and they are dead. Another alien beast. I know how to deal with your kind. Fire alone puts you down. Fire and blade puts you down faster. What a powerful recipe. When cooking beasts, dropping down from above. What do you think yourselves clever? No, no, no. Not clever enough. Not for me. Spider-like thing shoots fire. Space acid. Well, it has quite the weakness overall. Quite the weakness indeed. Ah, a gate. Perfect. I shall not have to combat these creatures again, should I need to return. You see, once I'm used to them, they pose little to no threat at all. And what of the interior of this old school? Here, another. Walking the floorboards.
Ah, a hunter. Hello there. Immediately to violence it is, then, huh? You use the magic of your Sefka, then. Or maybe she used yours. Either way, if you're a friend of your Sefka's, then you're an enemy of mine. Well, I was trying to parry you, but if you want to just die to bullet fire like a weakling, then fine. Have it your way. Another of your Sifka's agents, perhaps, put to final rest. Good, good. I cannot have more of her kind spreading their foul magic around. Their corrupting magic. Is that all the healing church really is? Corrupting magic? Born of alien life? Pathetic. Ah, and what of this tome here? When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. And when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Is this the child I must silence its cry? I learned in Yargul that to end these rituals, I must silence the harrowing cry of a child. Perhaps the Great One, as this so elegantly puts it, will create a spawn, and that spawn must be destroyed. You missed me when I wasn't even looking or reacting to you. How does that make you feel? Like a loser? You should feel like a loser. No one can hurt old man Jenkins. No one. Do you understand? The Lunarium. Great view of the old full moon. Nearly full, at least. Who, then, are you? Are you the Master Willem, I've heard, rules over Bergenworth? Did you start all this? Ah. Uh... What then? The lake! I see. You wish for me to jump into the lake. You take me for a fool. You seem quite insistent then. Very well. I shall do as you ask. But... Before I do... That is for all the pain you've caused by teaching Yosefka and her kind. Well then, shall I descend into the lake? And uncover the truth to the nightmare? Interesting. A slug-like beast shall approach. Perhaps it maintains the dream. A 
has summoned many spiders with rock-like skulls that mimic its own. And so many eyes. So many eyes. A terrifying thing to be old. Terrifying and enlightening. I shall slay these spiders to the last. They're blade like legs. They guard the great beast. But they have left an opening. One that I shall most definitely take full advantage of. The beast disappears. And to where has it gone? Calls magic down upon me as it summons more spiders in its wake. No, no, yes, I shall slay it and all its evil. It is most certainly responsible for all of this. It vanishes again. Where has it gone this time? More spiders in its wake. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. Bring me a true challenge. Brom. The vacuous spider. You cannot hurt me. Not you, nor your spider armies. I have more than enough power to deal with you. So many, so many spiders, but only one matters, only one. Your magic is easily discerned. Yes. Yes, indeed. You seek to hide behind these creatures. You seek that they shall grant you protection. You think wrong! You think quite wrong. No! 
no! No! I cannot fall to the likes of you! And when I slay you... Oh, the pain and suffering I shall cause upon this world! I shall destroy all of your kind! All of them, all of them will fall to me. I will be victorious. I will be the last. Do not scare me, Rom. Oh no. In fact, it is I who should scare you. Yes, you hear it, Rom. You hear it? No! Wrong! Wrong! It must be this way, Rom. I must slay you. And all like you. Where'd you go, Rom? Where'd you go? Yes. Golden Man Jenkins is on the case. Oh no. This is going to be quite fun. Oh yes. I shall. Perhaps it is better to thin the herd first. Not too much, of course. Well then, where would the challenge be?
Come here, fiends. Where'd you go, Rom? There you are. No, oh, no, no need for that here, Ron. Yes, flail about as I put you down! And all your kind fall in succession. I am Old Man Jenkins. And I will not be cowed by creatures claiming to be great. Who is this in the distance? What a beautiful woman. Hidden beneath a veil. Well then, woman, tell me who you are. Oh no. Your womb. They have stolen your child, and beneath the red moon it cries. No.